Hi, my name is Keith Smith. I'm a freelance PHP programmer, and I've been a freelance PHP programmer since 2006, and I'd like to teach you everything I know. In this video, what I'd like to cover is how to rewrite URLs with mod rewrite for Apache on Ubuntu 24.04 long-term support using PHP. As you can see on my left-hand side, I have my notes. On the right-hand side, I have a connection to the server. I'm using PuTTY to connect to the command line uh, through the SSH um, server. So here we go. Okay, the first thing we need to do to get the rewrite module going is we need to enable it. So this is sudo is super user a2n mod rewrite says activate the rewrite module. Okay, it's asking for my password, so I'm gonna enter it. Okay, and as you notice right here, it says system control restart. Okay, to activate the new configuration, you need to run system control restart Apache 2. Okay, so that I have a line for that over here. I'm going to copy it. So sudo again is a super user, sys control, restart Apache 2. Hit enter. Bam. Okay. So now we need to set up the Apache uh, .ht access file. So we're going to change directories. So we're going to say C, we're going to say CD space, then var space www space and then it's uh, vhost so i'm going to put vh hit a tab and it'll automatically complete hit a tab and it'll complete again now this is our, our root our doc root for our, our hosting site and our host is vhost.internal so i hit enter and then i want to uh, Edit it so it's going to be sudo vi, oops, vi, which is my editor of choice, and then dot ht access, hit enter. Now we're going to, we're editing that file. It's a brand new file, it's created by uh, vi. So I'm going to hit i for insert. We go into insert mode. And then I'm going to copy this over. Now there's a article associated with this that you will find in the description. You'll find a link in the description. It's going to have a lot of more information than I'm going to go over in this video. I'm going to go over setting all this up, but I'm not going to explain every last detail of it. And I'm going to explain a lot more in that video or that article. So you should read the article. Okay, so I'm going to hit escape. And then I'm going to do a colon, and then I'm going to hit W for write and Q for quit. Hit enter. Okay, so that's done. Now we need to edit the Apache virtual host configuration file. Okay, so we need to change directories. CD slash ETC slash Apache. Let's see if it'll take a tab and auto complete. No. Here we go, it auto completed with that tab. And then we're going to sites enable. So we'll hit part of that, hit a tab for auto complete, and it's um, available. Okay, sites available. And then the configuration file is in this directory. So we're gonna hit enter. So we're inside that, let's see what's there. VDIR. Okay, I like VDIR. I think. I don't think VDR is a Linux command. I think it's uh, somebody put some code together to make a behavior like this, and, and this is how I like it to behave. So here we go. Okay, so we wanna we wanna uh, modify the vhost.internal.config. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, type in sudo space by my editor space. And then we're going vhost, so vh tab, and it'll automatic, it'll auto complete. So hit enter. Okay, so I'm going to go down to about here, 
and I'm going to go into insert mode. I'm going to click a couple of couple of lines, and I'm going to copy over some code, and I'm going to paste it in there. Okay. So there's only one. I'm going to take out the extra lines. I'm just going to leave one for each. Okay. So I'll explain this uh, in in the, um, the article. Okay, so I do a an escape to take out of insert mode, put a colon, a W for a write, and a Q for quit, and hit enter, and we're done with that aspect. This is a, a pretty quick modification. Okay, so now we're going to modify the, the index.php. Now that's back at the doc group. So we already have that right here. So what I did is I, uh, I pushed the up arrow key until I got that line which is our history and I hit enter okay now we're there see how easy that was so now I'm going to go sudo for super user I'm going to enter by my editor of choice and then I'm going to enter an I and then it's going to be index.php okay autocomplete hit enter it opens up I'm going to hit the insert key and I want to replace that one line. So let's just delete this line. Um, so I delete the line. And then I'm going to cut and paste from the left over here in my notes. And I'll explain what all this is. I'll copy it in the article. Okay. So... That's good. So I hit escape, colon, W for write, and a Q for quit, and hit enter. And we're done with that. So now what I want to do is I want to write sudo syscontrol restart Apache. So I'm going to copy that from my notes. Paste it, sudo is a super user, system control, restart Apache 2, enter. Okay, it's restarted. Okay, let's go to the browser and let's see, let's confirm that this worked, okay? So I open up the browser. I type in vhost.internal, hit enter. Okay, so far so good. Okay. So what I want, what, what this code is supposed to do is it's supposed to read the URL because I want to create a, an application using the design pattern model view controller and it needs to read the uh, URL out of the browser. So let's put controller forward slash and then we're going to put method. And if you keep following me, you'll understand why this is, or maybe you already understand. Okay, let's just hit enter now. Okay, it's working. Wow, look at that. We've had success. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any new content. If you found this content useful, by all means, give it a thumbs up. I'd like to hear your thoughts, so leave a comment and subscribe to my newsletter. Below you will find a link and you'll wanna subscribe because there's some information I'm gonna let out that probably will not make it in, into the videos. Thank you for watching and have a great day.